Hi guys, it's me Barnaby Slater again at Spurred On and it's time for us to give you the results of our Spurs end of season awards. We gave you the nominees for five categories and you've been voting literally in your tens, well hundreds. You actually, we actually got a lot of votes, it was really good. You did a great job guys, thank you so much. First uh, award that I'm going to give out is the winner of the Schoolboy Error Award. The nominees for this award were uh, Vlad Karikas, just for being Vlad Karikas and being terrible the whole time. Uh, Danny Rose for that red hair incident where he was trying to dye his hair purple but it turned out red. And thirdly, the other nominee was Roberto Soldado for the time against Fiorentina in the Europa League where all he had to do was either finish it one-on-one -on -one with the keeper or knock it with enough weight on it over to Nasser Chadley on his left and he did neither. He went for the pass and the keeper just swept it up. Well, I can tell you now that I've explained that in such depth, the winner was indeed Roberto Soldado. It was a complete landslide. You pretty much all voted for him to get the Schoolboy Air Award. And Roberto, if you're watching from Ibiza on your holiday where it looks like on Instagram you're having a great time, this is your award. It is a one penny piece. You can take that and you can say to yourself, next season, when I'm in that position, I so don't want that one penny piece that I'm going to do the right thing and just follow my instincts and whack it into the net, Roberto. Come on, you're a striker. Just finish it. Anyway, congratulations, Roberto. You have won the Schoolboy Error Award. The next award is the Bad Barnet Award. You know, the Terrible Hairstyle Award. Of course, it's rich of me to give out any awards for anybody having a terrible hairstyle, but hey, that's my job and I'm going to do it. The nominees were, of course, Emmanuel Adebayor for his one Quadrado-esque dreads. A terrible decision uh, amongst a litany of terrible decisions that Adebayor is currently making. Second nominee was, of course, Nasser Chadley with his disastrous top-knot Dalston-esque thing. And the third nominee was, of course, Danny Rose again with his attempt at purple hair that turned out red. Well, I can tell you that the winner, again, massively voted for. There was only one winner. There could only be one winner. It was Nasser Chadley for his top knot. Nasser, your award is this Nando's card. What I thought was you could take this Nando card, go and get some chicken with, I dare say, a harem of women. Uh, you take them, buy some chicken wings, and just forget all about the fact that on your head is basically a, a tiny little animal sprig of hair. So NASA, enjoy your Nando's card. You have won the Bad Barnet Award. The next award that I'm giving out in the Spurs end of season awards is the Family Man Award. This goes to the person who plays at Spurs who was the most family orientated this season. Uh, the nominees of course were Emmanuel Adebayor because, uh, well, he certainly likes to converse with his family over social media. Let's just say that. The second nominee was Christian Eriksen, who basically just loves getting off with his girlfriend in public as much as possible. It's been in the Evening Standard. It's been in all the press. I've seen it on Google everywhere. He just loves making out with his girl. Why not? She's pretty mint. And the third nominee, of course, for the Family Man Award was Eric Lamella, who has shown pictures on his Instagram of him going Boris biking with his family him in Marbella, him everywhere, just with his top off, enjoying his girlfriend, enjoying his family. And I can tell you that Eric, you are the winner of the Family Man Award. Congratulations. We're proud of your use of social media to show just how much you love your blood relatives and your attractive girlfriend. And for that reason, you are getting this one pound coin. I think it's important that you know that we at Spurred On are willing to celebrate your love of the family by giving you this one pound. So I'm gonna just send this through the post to Eric Lamella, and then hopefully it should get there, I would've thought, why wouldn't it? That's how the mail works. So Eric, well done, you have won the Family Man Award. The next award I'm giving out is for the goal of the season. What an important award that is. We can all rejoice in the brilliant goals that some of our favourite Spurs heroes have scored this year. The nominees were, of course, Harry Kane against Arsenal with that brilliant header. Christian Eriksen in the Capital One Cup semi-final against Sheffield United with that brilliant Whipper Jones effort into the top left-hand corner from the free kick. And the other nominee, Eric Lamella's Rabona against the Greeks in the Europa League. Of course he was the winner. Hardly anyone even voted for any of the other two. Eric, well done. This is your second award in the Spurs End of Season Awards. You must be delighted. Hopefully this is raising your confidence so next season you can try even more Rabonas. You've only tried to score two this year. Score five next year, score 10, and ideally remember that you're not as quick as you think you are. However, here is your prize. It is a 
love to shop High Street Voucher to the value of 10 English pounds. Eric, you can go to shops such as Debenhams, uh, uh, Cafe Rouge if you like a steak baguette. You can go to the Hard Rock Cafe with this. I know it's not a shop, it's a restaurant, but you can. The other place you can take it to is Argos. Go and buy yourself lovely, something lovely with the 10 pounds and just remember that Rabona, not only did it make you a brilliant, brilliant guy for scoring it for Spurs, but it earned you a 10 pound shopping voucher. Eric Lamella, you've won goal of the season, well done. Our final award in the Spurs End of Season Awards is for the player of the season. The nominees for this, of course, were Nabil Bentaleb, my favorite player. Come on leaps and bounds, what a guy. Danny Rose, the guy who only a year ago, a lot of Spurs fans were saying, he's not good enough to play for the Lily Whites. Then Ben Davis comes in, pushes him on a level, and he is a nominee for player of the season. And finally, Hugo Lloris, the beautiful, handsome, large-handed, French Gallic wonder, my favorite keeper, well, Hugo, you are victorious. You are spurred on's player of the season as voted for by the fans. And there can only be one prize for it, Hugo. Yep, you can have one of my flip-flops. Hugo, take this with you onto the beach whilst you're deciding to sign another deal at Spurs for another 10 years. Stay our keeper, be a legend, be the next Pat Jennings, be the next Ray Clements, be the next Paul Robin, be the next Ray Clements. Just remember what a great keeper you are and how we dote on our keepers at this club. Congratulations, Hugo. You are the player of the season, as voted for by the fans. Take this flip-flop, put it on your mantelpiece. Rejoice. That was the end of season Spurs Awards. Uh, if you disagreed with what I said or agreed, write it in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and follow us on Twitter, at SpurredOnTV. We'll see you next year for more end of season awards. This week, I don't know if you saw, Christian Eriksen scored an absolute screamer. You guys have got to see this goal for Denmark in a friendly against Montenegro. Oh, what a peach.